Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now in this video we're going to take a look at wiring struts. If you've ever tried to complete a wiring you'll know that one of the hardest bits to find are these long struts that hold on the uh, engine sections of the wiring. Now this is my wiring that I've been collecting for about 10 years now. I don't actively search out these parts because really they're always too expensive so it's only when I come across them sort of for cheap that I manage to find them and you'll see that on this wiring I've actually only managed to get six struts and that's in 10 years. At the moment prices for the struts are pretty ridiculous so I just don't bother even looking for them now. So I thought it was time to find a way to make replacement versions of these. So for a long time now I've been trying to work out a way that uh, I could re sort of recreate the uh, struts. Here you can see this is one of the struts from a wiring. They're fairly simple it's just a sort of little almost an X cross section although uh, one part of the X is missing and halfway down is a little clip that clips into uh, the engine block at the uh, back of the Y wing. Uh, and so I was chatting with uh, a fellow collector who is on my Facebook page, that's uh, Yush Dirks, and he uh, suggested that I have a look at some uh, things by Kinex. If you've ever seen the toy Kinex, they come lots of little bits and they're also lots of long bars. So had a quick search and you can pick up these which are pretty good. Now these are just slightly too short uh, but still don't look too bad and they're about the right thickness and about the right color. Now you sent me uh, some images of uh, what he'd worked up from these so today I'm going to work up my own version and we'll see if we can make some uh, replacement struts out of uh, out of these Kinex uh, long sticks. Now these are about 19 centimeters long and I think uh, these ones the original ones are about 21 centimeters long so if I just hold them up together you'll see it is slightly too short I'd say yeah just about two centimeters too short but I think uh, by the time we've got them all put together it should do a good enough job. So a quick search on eBay and it turns out you can actually buy quite a lot of these. I bought uh, 20 of them and I think they cost me a total of £4 for 20. Now the reason I bought 20 is because I expect to make mistakes when I go about making these things. Uh, the first time you make something things tend to go wrong so uh, by the time I've got this sort of worked out I should still have quite a few of these left but I thought if I have 20 if it, stuff does go horribly wrong I've got lots of spares. So if we compare these two struts you can see well the, the first thing is that uh, the original ones are only uh, uh, sort of three sided so we're going to have to remove part of one of these sides. Now I'm going to remove part of it because up at the engine block section it needs to be flat where it rests against the engine but the rest of it we can leave having the four sides and I think it will make these um, bars a little bit stronger than the original ones. So what I want to do is to trim down this end, remove the, the whole of the bar and I'm going to leave a little bit in the middle here where it uh, sort of has this clip section so we still got something that holds in place and then just remove a little bit more because if you notice here there's a little tab and that's where the flat section of the engine ends so let's get those bits removed so to remove these bits what I'm just going to do is I'm going to hold up I'm going to line these two bits up so that I've got a little bit at the end here which I can make into the tab and I'm just going to mark on one of these uh, cross sections where I can remove the plastic I'm just going to use a knife here to gently make a mark like so and then I can make another mark the other side of it and then another mark there. I can see those quite clearly. Then I'm going to start by removing this end bit just using a knife like so and carefully flattening off that edge so that I can then get my plastic cutters in. So let's just do that. So and then I have some plastic cutters. These are very useful if you don't have some of these and you want to fix toys I would recommend getting some plastic cutters because it makes it life very easy. You can just snip through the plastic. So I'm just snipping at the two points that I marked there and then I'll snip at the, the other point there. And then the reason I like these is because I can just snip very neatly along this whole section and remove it in a few seconds. Like so. So that's the first part removed. Then we just got this little bit here to remove again. I can use the plastic cutters to take out the bulk of this plastic. Like so. 
and then I can just use my knife to trim down the midsection. So as you can see that's the first part already started so it's not looking too bad. Next job is we're going to have to trim down the end of this connect stick so that it is more the shape of uh, this little section here. Now this is the bit that sits inside the body of the wire wing so I don't think we actually need to trim it down as thin as this but just a little bit more. So let's get that trimmed and we can hold it into the body and see if it works. So something like that and then hopefully that should fit in this little notch here like so and the other little bars as you can see there will fit in just about perfectly there. So that's the start of the uh, strut. We now need to sort out this other end. For the other end of the connects uh, we need to trim this down to be quite a small thin little peg, thinner than this one because it has to sit inside the little hole on the back of these uh, Y-wing engine bits. So it's going to take a fair bit of trimming to do uh, and I'm going to sort of, I'll test it in the hole uh, quite regularly to make sure that I've not trimmed it too small. So uh, first up just trim it down roughly, I'm going to use again the same knife and just work my way around this and carefully trim off little bits. Hopefully, as you can see now, with a little bit of uh, work, there you go, I've got something that actually fits inside the uh, the hole there. This one's still a little bit loose. I know it's not too bad. Really what you want to do is slightly taper uh, the inside so that it tapers down and gets a bit thinner as it gets to the walls, the sort of the thicker section of the uh, connects uh, stick. Uh, and that should hold it. So there we have one replacement stick. So what I've got to do now is I've got to make another seven of these and then we can try fitting them onto the Y-wing and make any modifications that we need uh, to get the final thing set in place. So here we are. It's taken me about two hours to make all of these. The first one was fairly uh, laborious to do because I was still sort of learning the process. They got a little bit quicker as I went on and I'm pretty pleased with how they've come out. Uh, so for each side we need four, uh, but you will need to make a couple of modifications to two of them. If you look at either side of the engine block, the one that's nearest to sort of the wing on the top has lots of little bits sort of sticking out and you'll need to sort of trim little bits out of uh, the, the top bar so that it actually fits in place. Now they're different both sides so uh, I've actually had to make, I've got two here that are slightly different modifications so that they fit within the sort of different grooves that there are there. All of the other ones can be exactly the same, it's just these two that need to be different. So let's go ahead and we'll start slotting all of these ones in place. So make sure I've got the right one here, that can just slot in there like so. And I'll get the other ones all slotted in and we can check that the engine block actually fits on the end. So. Let's get these all. And so here we have the final ship. I have to say it's a little bit fiddly. Getting them to sort of hold in place can be fairly fiddly and I did quite a lot of fine tuning to get these actually to sort of hold on. This one at the back is still a little bit springy and I might do a little bit more work on it, but the effect is pretty impressive. If I bring in my original Y-Wing, which I have here, as you can see, uh, the initial effect is good. It looks it looks right. They look right. They look like they're about the right thickness. If I hold them right next to each other, you can see 
just like that that it, they are just a little bit shorter than the originals but the effect is pretty nice and as i say i've still not managed to find enough for this wiring here in fact this wiring is still missing quite a lot of pieces so if anyone can help me finding some missing bits like the guns and that then uh, i'd be much appreciated but overall i'm really pleased with the the effects that i get from uh, these uh, connects uh, sticks to make the replacement struts in fact this is my wiring that uh, you can watch another video of mine where i've replaced the front guns with bits of lego because this is a sort of kit bash wiring i don't want to spend any money on i got it in a box of junk bits and i'm just sort of trying to complete it as much as i can to have a sort of second one on display so i think uh, when uh, use did his uh, versions of these he used a dremel to cut the bits out that might be easier for some people i prefer working with some sort of plastic cutters and i would recommend if if you do a lot of um, fixing of toys then to get this uh, Tamiya basic tool set because this comes with lots of good things little screwdrivers these plastic cutters files and tweezers a very useful thing to have if you're doing lots of fixing of toys like I do here at Toy Poloi so a big thank you to uh, use Dirks for suggesting these uh, connects sticks they are very good they're easy to get and i imagine that now that i've done this video they will be harder to get because people will be buying them on ebay so uh, go and grab some now before everyone else does if you have a y wing to restore when doing this fix do please be very careful there's a lot of knives involved and a lot of cutting and it does take a long time so you will have to be patient these did take me about two hours to do and bear in mind i do these sort of toy fixes all the time so it could take a lot longer but the end result is well worth it it's a lot of it is a lot of work and probably not the easiest of things to do but it certainly is worthwhile so i hope that's been of interest to you and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy Poloi. subscribe for more great videos you can also follow toy Poloi on twitter and facebook